Hello everyone and welcome back to the city of Stuttgart. The video of today is motivated by many people who ask me, also that I found in the forums and social network, who wonder how it is to live in Stuttgart city. Surely they're looking for options to move or study and I still don't know. And many others have got a job or been accepted in university and have this question. How it is to live in Stuttgart? Doing a little research, I found many quite opposite comments. Some people like it enough, and many others seem to complain about different aspects of the city. So I will try to be objective as possible when analyze the aspects of the city below. No place is perfect, and many of us will always miss our home. I thought of making a video of listing the good and bad things in the city, but the true and reality is that each person will have their own scale. Many things that for someone are bad may be good for others, depending on the different personalities and stage of life. So again, I will try to expose in the most objective way possible and everyone can draw their own conclusion. But well, there's a lot to talk about, so I hope it helps. Here we go. I want to start with basic information that many people do not know about the city and that is very important to know in order to understand the reason of many things. The city of Stuttgart is the capital of the southern state called Baden-Württemberg, one of the states that has a more solid economy. The city is the sixth largest city in Germany, but the difference between the first ones on the list are practically the double or more. For example, the number of citizens is the half of Munich and less than the half of cities such as Berlin, Cologne and Hamburg. So even though it is the number six, it's still considered a small city with around half a million inhabitants. The city is relatively new to be European. Its record begins in the first century. And basically, from its beginning and during the first centuries, it was never planned to be one of the most important cities in Germany. And in fact, before the Industrial Revolution, the city was a poor city, based only on agriculture and wine culture, until at the end of the 17th century, with the creation of the automobile industry, the city became a strategic city and economic growth completely transformed it until today which is one of the pioneer city in industry and engineering. But the city is still small, so many aspects cannot be demanded of it, not comparing with older or planet cities which double or more inhabitants. Another quite peculiar aspect of the city is that it's located in the middle of the mountain, being one of the only cities in Germany that has this type of topography. This is because in the beginning the city was nothing more than a farm destined to raise horses. But those are other historical facts that I don't want to talk about at the moment. If you're interested you can leave your comments and maybe I make an exclusive video talking about historical aspects in the city that also make it very interesting. But well, returning to the topic. Being inside of a valley between mountains make it quite peculiar and influence its lifestyle. Now let's move on and analyze the most important aspect of living in the city. We start with the first aspect necessary to live, which is work, job opportunities. I think this is the main reason why many, although they complain about some aspects of the city, they are still living here because being one of the cradles of German innovation and industry city, it offers great job opportunity for engineering from different branches. Logically, the automobile industry, as it is the headquarter of its brands, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, and Bosch, but also quite a lot of terms in IT and chemical engineering, the medical sector, and communication. Job stability has made it one of the cities with the best quality of life in all Germany. And that has made it a small city but with some cosmopolitan features, with many foreigners and international atmosphere, something that other cities of the same size cannot offer. But again, it's not Berlin, it's not Hamburg, it's not Cologne, city with twice or many more inhabitants. It cannot compare. But well, going back to the topic of work, opportunities and the economy means that incomes are relatively higher than other places 
but logically is also influenced something that many complains about, which is the price of housing. The city of Stuttgart has become in recent years one of the cities where the real estate market has been affected and high demand of a farmer for rent. And unfortunately, for foreigners who do not master the language, that becomes more complicated. Living in the center of the city is something quite inaccessible for someone with low or medium incomes. And thanks to the mountainous topography, the city has been developing in small villages separated from forests and mountains. So looking for a low-cost home, it makes you go away from the city center. If you're interested in talking about prices, well then, a square meter to rent is costing around 11 euros in a cheapest district and up to 20 for a square meter or more in an apartment with a better location or marketed for foreigners. Without a doubt, these are one of the biggest disadvantages that Stuttgart has. But to be honest and clear, any city that offers the job opportunities and the standard of living of this city has the same problem or even more. Apart from the cost of housing, which for people with low incomes can be a problem, the cost of living in general is quite balanced. The prices in supermarkets are pretty much the same in all Germany. The second important aspect to analyze is the mobility and the traffic. Another complaint is the traffic, and it is a big problem. The traffic is really quite heavy. The city has very few wide streets, and as I explained, it was not designed to be a big city. So driving in the center of the city can be quite complicated, especially because unfortunately it is a city that has been under continuous construction for more than 15 years, thanks to the project called Stuttgart 21, which is a complete redesign of what it is the central train station, a total disaster that has the city with many of the main streets closed. It is a city where people like to have a car, but it is difficult to drive and find a parking space. And its topography also makes it a bit difficult to use a bicycle. Apart from the fact that if you live outside the center, there are many mountains with the small street and the number of cars is not very comfortable. But well, to be clear again, today, all the cities of the world are having the same problem. Otherwise, speaking of mobility and transportation, one of the best aspects is that it has a fairly good train and bus system. The train network is quite efficient. If you are a resident, you can opt for very good prices and be connected from any corner and surrounding district. It has two lines, the U that moves within the city with a great freedom, and the S that connect all surrounding small towns or districts. So if you're one of those who prefer not to drive and use public transportation, you will be satisfied. The third aspect that we will analyze is the lifestyle, the nightlife and tourism. Here I also find many hangouts from some people, especially young people who really like to party or stay up all night. It is not uncommon to find comments that it is a boring city or that there is not much to do. And somehow it can be true. It is totally incomparable with the atmosphere in Berlin and in Hamburg. The party and nightlife is enjoyed in a different way, a little bit more traditional or reserved, also more fancy. There is no a main area of bars and clubs. Basically, there are separated places in different areas of the city, perhaps making it more difficult for many to find the environment that they prefer. But if you search, you will find a bit of everything. On the other hand, the family atmosphere is quite complete. A lot of festivals during the summer, many parks, very good views in the mountains, and great atmosphere more in the afternoons than at late night. In cases of young families, you will have a very attractive environment. Also, if you, instead of party, you like to explore green areas and walk through forests, you can feel the atmosphere of a large agriculture town Although it is not very comfortable to ride a bike as urban transport, it is a very good option for biking trips to explore different roads and surroundings, find journey along the Neckar River and its surrounding forest. So if it's good or bad, well, it will depend on each person. Something that cannot be denied is that the city center is quite small, free of large buildings. 
the Central Park and the Castle Garden named the Schlossplatz and Schloss Garden gives a very special look and style. It is quite comfortable to buy some drinks and snacks and lay on the grass to chat with your friends and watching people go by. In addition to highlighting, there are many festivals all year round, especially in the summer, when every week there is some type of activity in a square or park, including the cultural festival, the African festival, summer festival, wine festival, and the most important of all, the second largest beer festival in Germany and in the world, the Bad Kanzater Basen, a very traditional festival that is worth enjoying at least once in a life. In terms of tourism, it has an advantage of being relatively well located, having an international airport with a large number of connections. It is easy to travel to outside and inside Germany. Also, the state of Baden-Württemberg offers many tourist attractions. For example, the city is a couple hours from the Lake of Constance and also the Black Forest. We can say that the city is not well known as a tourist destination in Germany, but its surroundings and the entire state of Baden-Württemberg offer great options for domestic tourism. If we talk about the visual aspect, well, the city, like many German cities, was destroyed during the Second World War. And if we add that the city of Stuttgart, as I mentioned before, was not designed to be a big city, the architecture is quite conservative, nothing extravagant. Most of buildings were rebuilt after the Second World War and many others date from the beginning of the last century. And many of the most beautiful buildings are difficult to find among its hills. Its main buildings are its two castles in the center. They are a beauty. And then you find scattered palaces with a lot of history, but you will have to explore and find them. There are also areas with modern architecture, but again, the topography of the city means that you will have to get to know it step by step. Finally, the last aspect, the people, very diverse. If we talk about the local people, the Swabians from the southern Germany are quite happy people, very friendly, but also very traditional. The last years, they're getting used to, to immigrants from all around the world. It has become an international city, so you will not find much discrimination against immigrants. But you have to think about that it's very important to learn the German language in any way. Although it is true that the vast majority dominate the English language and there are many foreigners, it is important to keep in mind that it is still a small city and immigrants are from everywhere, Greeks, Italians, Latin Americans, Africans, Orientals. So English is not exactly the second language of the majority. If you do not want to learn the German language, it is very likely that you will not have the environment that you can find in other bigger cities like Berlin. There are many more aspects that could be analyzed, and there is enough to talk about. If you have any questions, you can write it in the comments. I will gladly answer them, or maybe someone can answer you. In the same way, if you would like me to make another video talking about a specific topic, leave it in the comments below moment we leave the video here we invite you to subscribe to our channel i hope to bring you a new video about germany or the city of stuttgart very soon thanks for watching and see you next time